Hello, and welcome to the first podcast for biology. Rather than sitting in class taking lots and lots of notes, all of the notes are going to be online ahead of time. It's my responsibility to make sure they're up on the internet, and it's your responsibility, of course, to watch and to listen. For Kalani High School, this is the Allaire Report, and I'm your host, Mr. Allaire. Today's topic, what is biology? I'm sure by now, in your other science classes, you probably have a little bit of an understanding about what biology is. Biology is a science that seeks to understand the living world. It's the study of living things, organisms, plants, animals. It comes from two Greek words, bios, which means life, and logi, that means the study of. You probably recognize that last part from other words like geology, which would be the study of the earth. A biologist uses a scientific method to study living things. We talked about the scientific method last year in physical science. They hypothesize, they do experiments, and they come to conclusions regarding the living world around us. Because organisms are complex and vary greatly, the work that a biologist does can also vary greatly. You can study things like plants and animals, or you can focus on specific plants or specific animals. Even though what they study can vary greatly, biologists around the world are linked together by one simple thing, and that is that they are studying living creatures. Before a biologist can study any creature, he or she first has to determine whether or not it is alive. So I want you to think about two questions for a little while. First, how do we know what is alive and what is not? Second, what are some characteristics of living things? While there's a wide variety of living things that exist in the world today, all living things share several key characteristics. In your textbook, you can see these characteristics and a description of them on pages 17 to 20. Living things are made up of units called cells. Living things reproduce. Living things are based on a universal genetic code. Living things grow and develop. Living things obtain and use materials and energy. Living things respond to their environment. Living things maintain a stable internal environment. Living things, as a group, change over time, meaning that they evolve. Take a couple of moments and think about these characteristics. Once again, you can find a listing of these characteristics and some descriptions on pages 17 to 20 in your textbook. Living things are made up of units called cells, reproduce, are based on a universal genetic code, grow and develop, obtain and use materials and energy, respond to their environment, maintain a stable internal environment, and as a group, change over time. This is how we know what is alive and what is not. Now, as I've explained earlier, biology is a field of science that has a lot of variety in it, and that's because living things have a lot of variety. Uh, think about all of the living things in the world. And the problem is, is that this diversity of life is so great that no one biologist can study everything. So biology is organized into what are called branches or divisions. Some of these branches you may already be familiar with. Zoologists, for instance, study animals. Botanists, on the other hand, study plants. Ethologists study animal behavior. So for instance, if you are interested in learning about uh, the specific behavior, uh, mating patterns of humpback whales, or perhaps um, the feeding habits of a particular type of fish, you would become an ethologist of that particular animal. Whereas a paleontologist, which I'm sure is a word that you're familiar with, studies past life. They look at fossil records, 
bones and fossils to learn about plants and animals that existed thousands, if not millions of years ago. Biology can also be broken down uh, and approached based on levels of organization. Page 21 in your book describes in a bit more detail these uh, levels of organization. Some biologists have chosen to study very large systems. Very large systems include things like biospheres. Uh, they also include various ecosystems as well as an entire community or population of plants, animals, uh, and organisms. On the other hand, there are biologists that study very small systems. Small systems in biology include things like molecules, or cells, or organisms. Uh, it, may be, it may seem strange to think of an organism as a system, but you have to remember how complex an organism is. Doctors really are biologists that focus on human beings. So they are biologists that focus on a very small system, human beings. Now, as I mentioned before, if you look on page 21 of your textbook, you can find a breakdown and some more detail about some of these uh, various systems, various levels of organizations. And they even list a couple of other ones that I didn't mention here in the podcast. So it's definitely worth taking a look at page 21. Now, as anybody will tell you, I am a chemistry fanatic. I love chemistry, but chemistry is kind of an esoteric subject. Biology, however, is something that you hear about in the news quite frequently. So you might be thinking, hey, how does biology fit into everyday life? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go ahead and jump onto Wikipedia, okay, www.wikipedia.org, and I want you to type in biology. And on the biology page, you're going to see, uh, I, I'd like you to try to find four biology-related careers that I haven't already mentioned. Okay, four biology careers, and I want you to describe them. The page is also going to show several different types of research that biologists are working on. I want you to choose one type of research outlined in the article on Wikipedia and describe it in your own words. I also want you to take a look at the standards for biology that we've talked about a couple of times, and I want you to take a look and figure out what standards are relevant to you and your family's lives, and I want you to give me an explanation. Now, none of these have to be really big, and I want you to be prepared to talk about it on Monday. We're going to have a little class discussion to talk about some of the things that you found and some of the things that you learned and discovered while you were looking things up on Wikipedia. So on Monday, we're going to be doing a couple of different things. Uh, we're going to be working on our notebooks, putting that together. We are also going to have a small quiz based on this podcast, What is Biology? So that's going to be on Monday, August 4th. The quiz is going to focus on some of the key terms that we mentioned on this podcast today and their meanings. Uh, now, just to let you know, you will not be able to use notes. Okay, this is a closed notes kind of quiz. But you might be thinking, hey, how much is this quiz worth? It's worth 10 points. Here's the cool thing about a podcast. You can go back and listen to it as many times as your heart desires. Okay? So, if you don't understand everything that we talked about today, go back to the beginning, watch it all over again, and enjoy. I'll see you guys next time on the uh, Alaire Rapport. The next topic that we'll be covering is Standard 3.1. I'll see you in class. Good night.